Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M0A.com here and I want to take you on a quick flight I was able to do just last night in a Cessna 350 with the G1000 obviously. One of the biggest things I realized with the G1000 and the 350 is how extensive the run-up procedure was. I mean, Between pre-flight and run-up we spent a lot of time on the ground, more so than we did in the air. One of the great things though is check this out, the synthetic vision. I mean, we're rolling down the runway and talk about knowing if you're maintaining center line or not. You saw everything. Synthetic vision flying that thing was absolutely amazing. It helped us so much actually with our flight uh, considering we encountered a little bit of IFR. So, uh, I mean, you have everything right out in front of you. Here we're pulling up the next rad screen, checking our, uh, our weather. No, we had a little bit ahead of us on our path uh, to Orlando. And I'm sorry that the shots are a little bit blurry since this was taken at night. It was hard for the camera to focus. But, I mean, that G1000 with the synthetic vision had absolutely everything we needed. It was such a, uh enjoyable flight. I mean, here you can see we're going 175 across the ground. And we have ticker tapes of our altitude. There's 3,000 feet, and there's our 159 on our true airspeed, and that's in knots. Um, you know, the workload was so minimal once we got into the air. It was the process of getting up into the air, which really uh, uh, did for us. Here we are moving through the... Uh, uh, the multifunction display here, taking a look at the map and watching our path, looking out for any weather or uh, anything like that. And uh, you can see we'll bring it all the way up to the Orlando airport. We'll click on the Orlando airport here and pop up its actual airport page. You can see all the frequencies are on the right hand side there, runway distances, lengths, frequencies. And actually that's a taxiway diagram in the center there with something known as smart taxi. It'll actually show us our airplane where we're located on that taxiway diagram which makes it real nice at those more complex airports so there's all your airport information I mean it was truly uh, just there's so much power and so much information there so really had an absolute blast flying the 350 and uh, working with the G1000 with synthetic vision uh, very important though to keep your eyes outside of that cockpit because remember, you're ultimately flying, at least in that case, we were VFR. So um, just some things to think about. Don't get totally engrossed in that G1000. Believe me, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. But also keep your eyes focused outside the cockpit as well. That's all I have for you guys. If you have any more G1000 questions or questions about flying the 350, shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk with you guys. And hey, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Catch you guys later.